I'd like to give a huge thanks and shout out to DCH Toyota of Milford for allowing me to come out today and film this vehicle. Hello everyone, today we're checking out this 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport Access Cab. So the access cab are the half doors in the back. This is the black exterior color. Looking at our wheels, see our 17 inch alloy wheels. On the inside we do have a black cloth with orange accents throughout the vehicle. Looking at our tailgate, I'll get into more description later, but it is a slow open tailgate. Also very easy to close. So with all that being said, we'll go ahead and hop inside. Being the Tacoma Sport, we have a push button start and keyless access. So this is our key fob, smart key. So all you have to do to lock, unlock, and start this vehicle is have the key fob on your person. So in your pocket, in your purse, wherever it may be. To lock the vehicle, you want to touch this portion here. You'll hear a chime. The doors will lock. After waiting a second, put your hand behind the door handle and the doors will unlock. Looking inside, you can see our black cloth interior with our orange accent stitching as well as orange inserts throughout the vehicle. Once on the inside, you'll find you have soft touch material on your door panel, your chrome door handles, as well as your power windows, power door locks, power mirrors right there. On the right side, you also find your outlet control for the L in your bed. So to start the vehicle with that smart key system, all you have to do, put your foot on the brake, and touch this button to go. The truck will start right up for you. So we'll go ahead, take a look under the hood. Under the hood of the Tacoma, you'll find your 3.5 liter V6 engine that produces 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. So we'll go ahead and jump back on the inside and I'll show you all that it has to offer. Jumping back inside the Tacoma. Power window. Looking at our steering wheel itself, it's a four spoke leather wrapped wheel. On the left side you'll find your audio controls, your Bluetooth controls, as well as your mode button to change through your presets or your sources. And on the right, you'll find controls for your center screen in between your gauges. So my favorite screen is the tire pressure screen. So if you that annoying light comes on that tells you you have a low tire and you have to go around the car and figure out which one it is, well, this will tell you exactly what your tire pressure is. It takes a few moments after the vehicle starts up to tell you exactly what the pressures are. On the left side over here, you'll find your headlight controls, your fog light controls, and on the right you'll find your variable intermittent speed wipers. Looking at our center stack, this is our touch screen with our audio controls. Pressing audio will bring you to your presets, which are AM, FM, XM, CD, USB, Bluetooth, as well as auxiliary. Pressing FM will give you your preset stations which are customizable. Pressing apps is where you'll find your navigation with HD traffic. Pressing destinations where you'll be able to input an address or go from points of interest. Going home will give you your audio, your Bluetooth, and your navigation all in one screen. This is customizable as well. Pressing the phone over here will allow you to pair a Bluetooth device and once you've paired it you'll be able to see your contacts and things like of that nature. Below that and you find your push button start, your four wheel drive controls, your climate controls, these are manual, so your temperature in the middle, your fan speed on the left, as well as your zones on the right. Below that, you find your second start power button, your wireless charging, so if you have a phone that's capable of wireless charging, you can place that here. Bluetooth, 
I'm sorry, USB and auxiliary input, as well as a 12 volt power outlet right there. Below that, you find two cup holders, as well as a cup holder right here. You can see you have a shiftable transmission, so you can go up and down through the gears. And popping the vehicle into reverse, you'll find a backup camera with stationary guidance lines. Putting the vehicle into neutral, to change to 4 high or 4 low, put it in neutral, spin this dial, and you'll get this light here. So if you put it back into low, it'll blink telling you it's turning off. Once it's off, it's off. So we'll go ahead and take a look in the back seat of the Tacoma. To gain access to the back of the Tacoma, open the driver's door or passenger door, and there's a handle. Pull that handle, and the door will open up for you. Here you'll find your back seat, your jump seats rather. This handle here will allow you to fold the seats up and down, and this here will allow you to fold the headrest down. Jumping in the back with the seat, driver's seat set for my 5'9 driving frame. It's cramped, not gonna lie. My knees are on the back of the seat. I do have plenty of headroom though. And you have the same seat over here. So this isn't for long trips or adults, maybe kids on a short trip. So we'll go ahead and check out the bed and that'll do it for this 2016 Toyota Tacoma. Looking at the bed of the Tacoma, with the access cab, it is a six and a half foot bed. You have your drop-in bed liner, as well as your deck rail system on both sides. With the new tailgate for the 2016 model year, it is a slow open tailgate and it is lockable. So there's a key inside your key fob. And you can put the key in here, turn it to lock it. So, pulling this down, You'll find your tailgate open slowly, as I showed you earlier. On the inside, you find storage on the left, storage on the right, as well as that outlet I mentioned earlier. So closing that back up, that'll do it for this 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. If you have any questions about this model or any other model here at DCH Toyota Milford, feel free to give them a call. All their information is in the description box below. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.